So we no longer say ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Disney executive who is the mother of a transgender and a pansexual child says she wants at least half of all future characters to be LGBTQIA or racial minorities, theme parks are now banned from saying hello boys and girls. I'm, I'm here as a mother of, of two queer children, actually, um, uh, one transgender child um, um, and one pansexual child. Um, and, and also as a leader. Um, and that was the thing that really got me because I have heard so much from so many of my colleagues over the course of the last couple of weeks um, in open forums and through emails and phone conversations. And um, I feel a responsibility to speak, um, not just for myself, but for them. Uh, to all of us, we, we, had a, we had an open forum last week at 20th where, um, Again, the home of, of really incredible, groundbreaking LGBTQIA stories over the years where um, one of our execs stood up and said, you know, we only have a handful of queer leads in our content. And I went, what? I, that can't be true. And I, and I, and I realized, oh, it, it actually is true. We have many, many, many LGBTQIA characters in our stories. And 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 yet we don't have enough leads um, and narratives in which gay characters just just get to be characters um, and and not have to be about gay stories. And so um, that's been very eye opening for me. Um, and and I I can tell you um, it's something that I feel perhaps had this moment not happened. Um, I, as a leader, and me as my colleagues, would not have focused on. And and going forward, um, I, I certainly will be more so. I know that we will be. And um, and I hope this is a moment where, shoot, um, the fifty percent of the tears, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> are coming. Um, uh, we don't. We just don't allow each other to go backwards. Coverage, but the context is also who is pushing it what their record is and what the history is in Florida. You know, you can go back to the to the 50s to the Johns Committee where the legislature was was actively uh, put together a task force whose whole job was to root out civil rights workers and any homosexuals in the university system. They destroyed lives. Literally, people committed suicide behind the, the relentless attack. And then you have Anita Bryant, and many of us are of an age to remember Anita Bryant's Save Our Children campaign, which was premised on the same, the same ideas that undergird this bill. And because of her campaign that equated being gay with being a, a pre child predator, she was able to pass a ban on gay people being able to adopt a marriage ban, and then she took that nationwide. And so when we react to this, a lot of us are reacting from the pain we experienced of being isolated and stigmatized in school. But we're also reacting from the reality that when they can erase you, when they can criminalize your existence, when they can demonize who you are, the next step is to criminalize you and take your kids. And we're already seeing that in Texas. So the slippery slope between these ugly messages um, you know, emanating from legislative leaders in our state and then amplified by our governor, whose spokesperson immediately began calling everyone who opposed this bill uh, groomers, a.k.a. pedophiles. Last summer, we, we removed all of the um, gender greetings in relationship to our life skills. So we no longer say ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, we, we've trained, we, we've provided training for all of our, our cast members in, in relationship to that. So now they know it's, it's hello everyone or hello friends. We, we are in the process of changing over those, those recorded messages. And so many of you are probably familiar when we brought the fireworks back to the Magic Kingdom. We no longer say ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we say dreamers of all ages. And so I love the fact that it's opened up the creativity, the opportunity for our cast members to look at that. We, we have our cast members working with merchandise, working with food and beverage, working with, with all of our guest facing areas where perhaps, you know, we, we want to create that magical moment with our cast members, with our guests. And we don't want to just assume because someone might be 
um, in, in our interpretation, maybe presenting as female, that they may not want to be called princess. So let's think differently about how do we really engage with our guests in a meaningful and inclusive way that makes it magical and memorable for everyone. In my opinion, Disney is going in a bad direction. I don't understand why they are openly focusing on gender and actual preference. That is what this boils down to. Instead of focusing on making everyone feel welcomed and entertaining audiences now they are being open about their agenda. The world is just getting crazier and the future is just going to be a big mess. I think morals and values of the past will no longer exist and anything goes. The anything goes will most likely come from the rich elites that want to control the masses. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.